Hi everyone, welcome back to a new post today and let's continue with day 6 for uh, May 25th of uh, the current affairs, I mean the important points for the prelims 2025. So the very first point that we need to, you need to remember is uh, the high pressure, high temperature method of growing lab grown diamonds now. Under the natural process, the rocks uh, come under extreme heat, especially carbon uh, dominated rocks come under e extreme heat and temperature and they become into diamonds that takes many, many years. But we have lab grown diamonds which follow a process called as high pressure, high temperature uh, of growing diamonds in the lab. And this process is created by putting carbon in the form of gra uh, graphite through intense pressure and also high temperatures and it replicates the natural conditions of the earth's crust and it also leads to carbon atoms rearrange itself into a crystal lattice structure in the form of a diamond. So this is the first very important point and India has a program for uh, lab grown uh, diamonds so try to find out something a few points about that as well and uh, the second most important point is about trade deficit now growing with countries. So China is once again in 2023-24 the largest trading partner with almost dollar 118 two-way commerce with India overtaking US the India and India has recorded a trade deficit of uh, between imports and exports with nine of the ten trading partners including China Russia Singapore Korea now the data shows the deficit so what is exactly the impact of a trade deficit so we have more imports rather than exports when we have more imports the value of the Indian currency falls the exports become more uh, the uh, also uh, the, the the it it it, uh, it influences the inflation depending upon on the imports uh, of the goods that we do and most of the imported goods are petroleum products that is we depend on 80 percent of our fuel for petroleum products so we uh, import the three major larger major uh, imported products of india are petroleum and uh, gems and jewelry and gold so india has a trade deficit with nine of the ten partners including china russia singapore and korea we have a trade surplus we have free trade agreement with singapore uae korea and indonesia and we are in surplus with UK, Belgium, Italy, France and Bangladesh. So we are in surplus with UK, Belgium, Italy, France and Bangladesh. Uh, the third most important point is with regard to the Fame India scheme. Now what exactly is Fame India scheme? India has a uh, uh, has the objective of having net zero emissions by 2070 and to reduce its carbon footprint. So many of the steps go into reducing the carbon fo footprint. One of them is using electric vehicles or, or hybrid vehicles as well. And one such scheme called as Fame India scheme is to improve the usage and also manufacturing of electric and hybrid vehicles. It is called as faster adoption and manufacturing of electric vehicles in India. Now, the Indian government is planning to make significant changes to the scheme. Uh, the Union Ministry of Heavy Industries is considering 50% of domestic value addition requirement removing the PMP, that is the phased manufacturing program norms as a proposed FAME 3 phase of the scheme. Now, FAME, uh, FAME 2, that is phase 2, was launched in 2019 with a budget of 10,000 and crore. It aimed at supporting 7,000 e buses, uh, 5 lakh e we uh, wheelers, uh, 55,000 e passenger cars, and 10 lakh e two wheelers over three years. Now, uh, the main objective of the scheme is to encourage faster adoption of electric and hybrid vehicles by the way of upfront incentive uh, on the purchase of electric vehicles and also by establishing necessary charging infrastructure for electric vehicles. The scheme will address the issue of environmental pollution and fuel security as well. The fourth most, fourth most important thing uh, uh, point is farmers producer organization. These are not statutory bodies, but they are supported by statutes in India. Farmer producer organizations are those organizations where the farmer producers uh, that provide the support to small farmers. Uh, it is an organization of farmer, farm producers, I'm sorry, which provides support to the small farmers and with end-to-end -end services like a cultivation of inputs, technical services, processing and market. It's nothing but a collective of a group of farmers which come to together to uh, share all the aspects of inputs, technical processing, marketing, uh, even putting across their uh, their views or grievances towards the government, etc. Now, the concept of farmer producer organization refers to collectivization of uh, producers, especially small and marginal farmers, into the producer organization so that it emerges as one of the most effective ways to address many of the challenges of agriculture, but most importantly, improve access to investments, technology, inputs, and markets. And the fifth most important point is bioplast. So yes, we need to do away with single-use plastics and also non-biodegradable pl plastics which are produced by 
your petrochemical uh, products so bioplastics are organic plastics which form plastics derived from renewable biomass uh, sources like corn starch pea starch and microbiota rather than the fossil fuel plastics which are derived from petroleum some of these non bio uh, bioplastics are biodegradable and they are bio based and biodegradable and provide consumers and manufacturers a revolutionary op option to safeguard the environment now biodegradable plastic is based on new generation biodegradable substances which are made from natural substances like corn starch wheat starch which use less energy and also less usage to completely dispose them uh, into water and co2 without forming harmful toxins in the environment so some of the uh, material the biomass which is used for producing bioplastic are uh, vegetable fats corn corn starch straw wood chips sawdust and recycled food waste as well and the sixth most important topic is uh, scheduled areas so 10 states uh, so these are the states which have scheduled areas andhra pradesh telangana gujarat jharkhand chhattisgarh himachal pradesh madhya pradesh maharashtra odisha and rajasthan ladakh has been asking for inclusion into tribal Six schedule which deals with tribal areas of Tripura, Assam, Mizoram and Meghalaya. We have scheduled areas for tribal areas in other states under the fifth schedule. In Andhra Pradesh, we have the scheduled areas are located in East Godavari, West Godavari, Vishakapatnam, Shri Kakulam, Vizayanagar. In uh, Gujarat, uh, it is Surat, Baruch, Valsad, Vadodara, Panchmahal, uh, Sabarkanta, Navsari, Dang, Dahod, Narbada and Tapi. In Imajal Pradesh, it is Lahul, Spiti and Kinnor. In Jharkhand, it is Ranchi, Kunti, Lohardaga, Gumla, Simdega, Latehar, West Singbum, East Singbum, Saraikala, Karswan, Dumka and Jamtara. Please find out this uh, schedule areas in the other states and try to map them on your maps as well. The tribal areas according to the four states of Tripura, Assam, Mizoram and Meghalaya are in Assam. We have Boroland, North Kachar Hills and Garbi and along. In Meghala, Meghalaya, we have Garo, Kasi and Jantia Hills. In Mizoram, we have Chakma, Mara and Lai Autonomous District Councils. And in Tripura, we have the Tripura Tribal Area Autonomous District Council. So these are so the eight most important point for today is uh, for uh, for day six is uh, major exports of India, which includes um, major exports are the for in the descending order petroleum products, gems and jewelry, textile and garments, uh, pharmaceuticals, organic and inorganic chemicals, machine and equipment, iron and steel, vehicles, and the last is tea. So, uh, and the top 10 important products into India as of 2023 and 24 is petroleum at 21.6%. Precious metal at 5.9%, products derived from petroleum again third, uh, beriquits, um, coal and, co and coke, precious semi-precious tolls, uh, components of electronics, instruments of telecommunication, chemicals that are made up of organic com uh, compounds, machines and industry uh, and machine and equipment powered by electricity. And the top 10 trading partners with regard to imports, we imports are good firstly from China, secondly from America, three from thirdly from UAE, fourthly from Saudi Arabia and fifth from Iraq and 3.1 percent only from Singapore that is a Southeast Asian country so in Southeast Asia Indo Indonesia and Singapore dominate are the regions from where we import products uh, into India so this is all for the day 6 for uh, May 25th uh, I hope this was really helpful to you all and if you did please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment at the end of the video and I shall see you uh, in another new post until then it's very happy learning